Hello and welcome friends. Let's discuss the solution of quiz 3. The problem I posted as quiz 3 is a factory produces product X by mixing or blending three different raw materials. For the period under consideration, some of the material variances are as follows. Some of the direct material variances are Number one, total material cost variance, that is MCV, because there are three raw materials. So, I prefer to use the term total, that is combined of all the three. Rupees 10,000 adverse, numerically we write minus 10,000. Number two, total material price variance, MPV, is rupees 4,000 adverse, again numerically we write minus 4,000. And Number 3, total material mix variance, MMV, rupees 1500 favorable. That means numerically we write it positive 1500. What is the material yield variance? That is MYV, the last one. Alternative A, rupees 6000 adverse, B, rupees 4500 adverse, C, rupees 4500 favorable, and D, rupees 7500 adverse. Let's check. First of all, can we directly find out the material yield variance from these three? No. The answer can be find out, found in two steps. First, we have to find out material usage variance and then we can find out the material yield variance. But how? We all know the reconciliation formula, two reconciliation formula. The first reconciliation formula is material cost variance equals to material price variance plus material usage variance. Now these two are available. So material cost variance adverse 10,000 that means minus 10,000 equals to material price variance that is minus 4,000 plus material usage variance. That means minus 10,000 plus 4,000 equals to material usage variance. Therefore, material usage variance comes to minus 6000 rupees. That means material usage variance is rupees 6000 adverse. But this is material usage variance. We want to find out material yield variance. Now, so we in this way found material usage variance from the reconciliation formula. The Second reconciliation formula is of material usage variance. Material usage variance that is total material usage variance equals to material mixed variance plus material yield variance. We can say that material cost variance can be segregated into two parts. Material price variance and material usage variance. So cost variance is nothing. It is effect of price variance and usage variance. Similarly usage variance is because of or rather effect of mixed variance and yield variance. Yield variance is also known as output variance. In some old reference books it is stated as sub-usage variance. But yield variance is the most popular term. Now we have material usage variance as adverse 6000 that means minus 6000. Material mix variance is given to be 1500 favorable that means positive 1500. Plus material yield variance. So minus 6000 minus 1500 equals to material yield variance. So material yield variance comes to minus 7500 rupees. So we can say that material yield variance is rupees 7500 adverse. So material usage variance of 6000 adverse is actually because of 7500 adverse material yield variance and 1500 favorable material mix variance. Combined effect is material usage variance. So in this way for this particular problem we can find out the material yield variance by using the two reconciliation formula. I hope this is useful for all of you. To understand the basics of material cost variance as well as all other components of cost variance. Don't forget to like this lecture, all other my lectures.
which proved to be useful to you people in your study, in your learning process. Don't forget to suggest my channel, my lectures to all your classmates, friends and other senior junior students. If still you have not subscribed my channel, YouTube channel, P-R-A-S-H-A-N-T-P-U-R-R, please subscribe. That's it. Thank you very much.